the delegation, I reserve the right to yield my time to my fellow delegate from Oklahoma. And that is your right. Thank you, sir, or Madam Chair. Wow. Legalizing prostitution. What's next? Thank you, fellow delegates. Legalizing prostitution. What is our world coming to? For, uh, earlier delegates said uh, they weren't going to argue the moral, the moral argument. Well, I am. This is unmoral. Unmoral and just, just plain wrong. I yield the rest of my time to the delegate from Oklahoma. I'm kidding. Yield the one minute, 25 seconds. McKinney, Oklahoma. Thank you, Chair. A previous delegate stated that uh, sex could be good for the body. What is a country coming to when prostitution can be used as a possible medical treatment? When sex can be used as a medical drug? And on another point, what's to say that these prostitutes will pay their taxes in the first place since we cannot track illegal prostitution now? Hey, what's to say that this will stop illegal prostitution at all? I yield my time to the Chair. That comparison is basically saying, uh, if you allow people to sell alcohol, what's from stopping people from going down the street and buying alcohol from a street corner vendor where they have no idea where it's from? If you have the opportunity to go to a place where it's regulated and safe and proven to be safe, you will not go to a shady alley. That will not happen. Furthermore, this will not lead to pregnancies. This will not lead to STIs. The state of Nevada garners $40 million a year from uh, pros legalized prostitution. That amount of money from every state or every county that would allow this to happen is astronomical and would help America greatly. Um, the previous delegate said, let's not fight the moral ground, and I agree with him because it is not the place of the government to fight the moral ground. Another delegate said, what is legal to sell in America, but Ill or legal to give in America, but illegal to sell? And I would like to point that out as well. It is ridiculous that prostitution is still illegal in America based upon how great it could help and how little it hurts. Who was hurt by legalizing prostitution? No one. Who has helped? Anyone who could use money. And I don't mean the sex workers in that case. I mean the fact that it's $40 million from one state. This allows counties to vote to decide whether or not they want this. If you do not want to go to a brothel, then do not go to one. But do not disallow others from doing so. Thank you, Maria Peoples, Wisconsin. Also to address a few more points um, about the transmission of AIDS, in a two-year study done by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, couples where one partner was HIV positive and one negative, there was a less than 2% rate of transmission among the couples who use condoms every time. So the chance is very slim, regardless of other statistics that were brought up. According to the CDC, male condoms are between 85 and 98% effective. Um, in preventing pregnancy, so that is also a very minute issue. Um, as far as the precedence, prostitution is legal in 50% of countries in the world and legal with limits in about 10%. The U.S. belongs to the minority of about 40% of countries that declare prostitution illegal nationally. Also, to address the moral argument, sure, let's bring it up. Is the, is the system of street prostitution moral for anyone? We currently allow a system where people are allowed to be controlled by another human being, where they cannot report rape by being taken seriously or even arrested because, as, because they are deemed a prostitute. Others say that maybe they were asking for it. Now we have a system where uh, boys and girls are taught that the way someone is dressed allows, mandates the way that they're allowed to be treated. That, I feel, is more immoral than any consensual sex ever is. That affects men and women and is degrading to everyone. The legalization of brothels begins to break down that stereotype and those things that are hurtful to America. Also to address the fact, um, another moral issue, sex is inherently human. No one's going to deny that. Everyone, you know, this is consensual adults, this is not children. Um, and so just as people can have sex um, that isn't for money, then they should be able to have sex that is for profit. Author um, Dilby from this delegation, just to point out what um, a project delegate say, you're not going to um, come home from work and go go down the street. The prostitution is going to be inside a, bo a bottle. You're going to walk in um, to the bottle. You're not going to go down the street from your house. Thank you. That's the whole point. Um, and with that, we urge you to pass this proposal. Uh, we are thinking about the whole society, um, the, the effects entire society as a whole, um, and we urge you to pass it. And with that, we yield the remainder of our time to the chair. Uh, the motion before this General Assembly stands that um, proposal, base proposal 385 in combination with 372 and 452 um, does pass. All those in favor, please signify by standing and saying aye. Aye. All those opposed? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
without uh, division uh, will be called and recognized. This proposal does pass.